Okay. Uh, we're told that this piecewise function passes through these three points, and you do need to sketch a graph to kind of see what's going on. Uh, negative 5, negative 2 is, let's say, over here somewhere. 0, 1 is right here, and there's a line segment connecting those two points. And then there's another line segment connecting 0, 1 with 2, 7, maybe up here somewhere. And once you realize that these are two straight lines with a restricted domain, you can create the piecewise function. So to get the rule for this segment, calculate the slope between those two endpoints, which happens to be three-fifths, and the y-intercept is one. Similar, and that's from a domain from negative five to zero, which is what we have here. For the second segment, calculate the slope, between 2, 7 and 0, 1, that happens to be 3 with the y-intercept of 1, and we're going from 0 over to 2. For the That's the second piece. You have a choice whether to put the or equal sign here on that 0 or on this 0. Uh, for finding the inverse function, finding an inverse function is all about interchanging x's and y's, interchanging domains and ranges. <clears throat> so here I am finding the inverse function for this first piece by interchanging x and y and then solving for y. And that's the first rule for f inverse. Now I'm going to go to Desmos, show you what the graph looks like. Hopefully you can use this graph to get an idea of the capabilities on Desmos. Here's the syntax for a piecewise function. First you specify the piece colon, then you specify the rule, comma, the next piece, colon, the next rule. And there's the inverse function right there. And here's what I mean by interchanging x and y. Negative 5, negative 2 is on the original function. Negative 2, negative 5 is the image under the uh, inverse function. And see this segment right here? I have a slider here that you can use to show what's going on. Interchange X and Y all the way across. And it turns out the line Y equals X, this green dotted line, will be the always be the perpendicular bisector of that segment right there. You could actually find the midpoint by uh, finding the midpoint of these two uh, points P1 and P2, let's say. Uh, or you could write the equation of one of these segments and find the point of intersection with the line Y equals X. Either way. So there you go. I'm going to post the uh, URL to this graph so that you have available for your use. There you go. Hope that helped. And if you have any questions, post a comment leaving it up to you to fill in this section.